Oh, V! You get any sleep? No. Yeah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something. Later. When I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. No. Neurovirus, sir. I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Looking for someone? Wow, where do you shop? If you ask me, you're worth Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? Are you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so, how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. You got one hell of a punch there, Jim. Ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Mentioned something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't leap, but very loot. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. Start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. What? You want a new friend? Waiting for its daddy. Purrs after every shot now. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot. Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? 
How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, B. By B.R. Virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has a participation in the Dashi Parade. Long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. Get some more Chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Wells' signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. The fresh group found us. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but d -Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is right on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You mean T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Now Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a little his own. Don't get me start on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Muy lleno. Brought your wheels. Given to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new.
First stop, Ripper Dock and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You know what I'm saying? She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? This is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather... Checking them out? Nah, Chuma Mai needs to work here, that's all. Oh, yeah? Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Cause I am. Always. Makes it easier. <laughs> a little hanky panky. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside.
Mark I, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. It could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes, Read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It auto worked like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Guard up, you idiot. Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. 
I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Not only. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. What now, that's probably looking? not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Can all go to hell. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, sure. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving with that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. 
Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway. Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally at nine, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced the convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh-uh. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Look 
lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Get your fucking hands off me! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Never met anybody named Gilchrist. That the poor fucker right there? It's true, doesn't know him. That said, I've jumped a few convoys in my day. Know all the usual suspects. Bet I can help find your mole. But what I know now won't get you anywhere in that respect. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Him you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? You know, I could help patch the gaps in your convoy security. Prevent a repeat of this fiasco. Nope, not interested. Let's hear your offer. I don't have all day. Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force. But they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine. The latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. <laughs> nah. No what, Stout? My offer just came off the table. Mistake. Big mistake. Stout, you bitch! You're done! You're fucking done! You and everyone under your thumb! You hear that, fella? Got her cheap, too. Dorset job dividend. Hmm. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. I'd swap out that tailpipe if I were you. Really? Why? It's got a mean growl that the chicas just love. What that growl does is tell people a mile out that Jackie's rumbling their way. I'd tinker with the fuel injection too. Upload a new map and slap on some thermal tape till you cobble together enough eddies to get that exhaust modded. Uh huh. T Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date and fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. 
Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corporal Bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Hijone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. <clears throat> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Cozy place. It could use a few plants, though. Uh, cozy place. It could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. I don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. <laughs> Called him special. Well, just me and us, Holmes. Shit. They expecting a whole Militech platoon? Got a bad feeling creeping up my spine, Jack. Oh, well, these guys are a bit more than just naughty boys. More mines? Seriously. Model MT zero D one two, called the Flathead. And the hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit.
What is it? It's Geef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on, give it a whirl. Tech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift it access locks using our soft. Once it's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm hmm Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Fuck Brick, then. Let's cut a new deal. Now that's good business sense. All right, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seems as you already got the eddies for it. You want to offer us a discount? A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead. Call me a rat! You're dead. You hear? Oh, come on! Well, it would all make sense! Ha ha ha! Fuerte, cabrón! Going down! Grab the gear. Fuck. Quick! Get out of here. And controller. Let's go. Quicker the better. Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. Line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way.
Again, didn't you? Naive little punk. We don't want any more trouble. No, I seriously doubt you do. Today was about Royce getting his just desserts. Couldn't have done it without you. Flathead's yours. And consider us even. I want a perimeter. Secure the area. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh, hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? 
Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo woman? I met Stout. And? Didn't exactly hit it off. Poor Meredith. No doubt in my mind she'll be left picking up the tab after your bad day. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Uh -huh. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. <laughs>